One of the surest ways to know if a person's heart is wholly in love with you is that they will confess their love to you. They will make it unequivocally clear that they love you. They will confess and express their love to you. When a person's heart is wholly in love with you, it is difficult and almost impossible to hide their feelings. A heart wholly in love will confess it. Love is an overwhelming feeling that will express itself in speech. Even the Bible confirms this in Matthew chapter 12 verse 34. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The mouth always brings out the content of a person's heart. If you want to know what a person's heart truly feels for you, simply watch their actions and what they say consistently to you. Do you talk about how much they love you or how glad they are to have you in their lives or things they admire in you? All these will make it clear to you that their gear is wholly in love with you. Of course, there are situations whereby a person claims to love you when they don't. Someone may pretend to be in love with you, but with the time, the content of their heart will eventually be revealed. To be sure a person's heart is wholly in love with you, they will not only confess their love to you, but also make consistent efforts to prove that they truly love you. That means, it is not only their words that they tell you how they feel most of the time, their behavior says it better. When a person claims to love you, their words match up with their actions, making it glaring to you how they feel. Their words and actions will be the same. It will prove to you that their heart is wholly in love with you. You will know how much they care about you in their behavior. They will try their best not to hurt you in any way. The kind of words or compliments they use around you determines if their heart is wholly in love with you or if they are just pretending. When a person's heart is filled with love for you, the way they compliment you is different. Their compliment is not always physical. It is not always about how beautiful or handsome you are or how the shape of your nose, face or body is. Their compliments go beyond how you look physically. They will notice something else about you, usually beyond your looks. When you receive compliments like, I love the way you think, I like how careful you are when it comes to decision making, or you're very smart and intelligent. It shows they are interested in your personal and not just your physical appearance. Their compliments are also not always flirtatious. When they are around you, do they give you maximum attention? When you are talking, do they listen well because they do not want to miss details? A man's attention is one of the ways to know what he values. The Bible proves that this is true in Matthew chapter 6 verse 12. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. This is found to be true in every case and relationship. Where or what you treasure is where you will most want to be and you end up being. Treasure is anything we value above all else and that which motivates us into action. Love is a treasure and when a person's heart is wholly in love with you, you will be valued. How much they value you is revealed in how much attention they give you. They act in a more loving way around you compared to how they relate to others. They are very cautious around you because they do not want to mess things up with you. They will treat you in a very special way, making it obvious that they value you. They pay attention even to your mood and how you feel. They will pay so much attention to you that they will understand what you are saying even when you are not using your words. Paying attention to you involves taking out time to be with you. A person whose heart is wholly in love with you treasures you and that means they will take the initiative to spend time with you. They will want to spend quality time with you. They will enjoy your company and will always want to be around you. Everyone is busy, but people always make time for things and people they consider as important to them. If a person loves you, 
they cannot be too busy for you. It doesn't matter how busy their schedule is, they'll create time to be with you. Even the busiest man on earth makes time for those they love. When a person is not interested in you, they will be busy and not have time for you. They will make you one of their priorities. They are always looking forward to seeing you. Being around you will be worth their time. They want to be around you and want to always keep in touch because they consider you a treasure. They communicate with you frequently. When you talk to them, they respond very well and warmly. They put themselves in a position where it will be easy for you to know more about them. They will have meaningful conversations with you. They will ask you questions concerning your future, goals, desires, and ambitions. They will also talk about their future, ambitions, goals, desires, and dreams. They do this because they want you to fit into the future they are building. The discussion they have with you are more about the long term than the short term. They will want to build a future that accommodates you. They will care to know your dreams so they can nurture them and see to it that it comes to pass. They want to see you become the best version of yourself. If you are in the dating phase, when they are talking about their future, they use the pronoun we more than I. For example, we will visit Paris, not I will visit Paris, or we will have two children, not I will have two children. In your conversations, they try to paint a picture of their future with you in it. When they do not do so, it points out to you that their heart is not wholly in love with you. They do not see you as being part of their future. Generosity is another sign that a person's heart is completely in love with you. Giving is proof of love. A love that lacks generosity is not genuine. Even God gave us to express His love towards us. We have it recorded in John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. To show and prove that God loves the world, He gave something. The love He made Him give something. He didn't just give anything. He gave something very special and important to Him. His only begotten Son. It was a sacrificial giving. What a man gives to show what he truly loves and cares about. When a person claims to love you and does not give to you, watch, there is a lie somewhere. When a person loves you, they are willing to spend on you. They will buy you gifts to show that they care. If the heart is wholly in love with you, they will become more generous to you than others. They become generous to you well, everything, including their money, time, and attention. If we were to find another name for love, it would be sacrifice. To know if a person's heart is wholly in love with you, they will be willing to make sacrifices. They will go out of their way to please you and make you happy. There is truly no love without sacrifice. There will be nothing too difficult to be done to be with you. Jacob in the scriptures spent 14 years of his life working hard just to marry the woman he loved. Can you imagine how hard it must be for Jacob? If a person will not even stress or stretch themselves a little for you, it shows they don't love you. If all they do for you are things that are convenient for them, they don't care much about you. When a person cares, they will travel a thousand miles just to see you, and it won't be a burden on them. They will even do it gladly and with joy in their heart.